The following video is a recap of my first swim as a merman. Hello fishies, I'm Merman Adventure Philly, and as part of this channel, I will also be now doing short videos about my adventures as a merman. Not only am I an autistic content creator, but I'm also a merman. And of course, my name is a reference to this channel and the fact I love the, the hometown baseball team, the Philadelphia Phillies, which of course, this headband is of the Philly Fanatic, a craze started by Bryce Harper after he came to the Phillies in 2019. And this lay I got years ago when I used to be a cheerleader. Anyway, today, my very first short will be about how I did with my very first swim in my Mer Taylor Caribbean Dream Guppy. As you see, I give huge props to my friend Melissa for allowing me to use her pool and to swim in it. It was a lot of fun. And I hope to do more swimming videos like this in the future, including with the Pennsylvania Mermaid Pod. Join me as I will take you on the adventure of my very first swim as a merman. I'll never forget when I finally got my tail wet in a swimming pool, though the last time I got my tail wet was in the bathtub because of what was going on in the world. But the moment I hit the pool, it felt so good to finally be flapping around in my tail. And the feeling of feeling free and feeling like a fish was so amazing. I so cannot wait for further adventures under the sea, swimming in my beloved tail with other mermaids and even fellow mermen as well. And of course, stay tuned for the next video where I hope to do it with the Pennsylvania Mermaid Pod. Wow, it finally felt good to swim in that tail. And of course, even though I had a good swim, I inspected the, the, the tail skin itself. Unfortunately, the threads from one of the seams came undone. But thanks to my mother, she did a quick patch job and my tail is now ready for future swims as we speak. And I look forward to bringing you more of my tail-rific adventures. Until next time, fishies, this is Merman Adventure Philly saying thanks for watching everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, when heading out, wear a mask if you are going to be around large crowds. Otherwise, if you're fully vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask unless you're in 
outdoors, especially around children who have yet to be vaccinated, and where the masks are still required. Carry hand sanitizer with you. Wash your hands. Get vaccinated. And lastly, and most importantly, stay safe, stay healthy. Together, we are finally getting through these dark times together. Until next time, I swim into the deep abyss.